Peace to you kids. Do you like to be creative? Me too. I am super excited to kick off our new series, Drawing Board. Let's get started today with some praise and worship. Why would I worry? You never show up late and you don't make mistakes. I'm not in a hurry. No, I'm walking at your pace because you showed up. I love to create all kinds of cool things. Sometimes I use markers or paint, and sometimes I just use a whole bunch of scraps and create whatever I want. You can do anything when you are creating. Did you also know that Jesus can do anything? Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to the Drawing Board series. I hope you guys are ready to have some fun as we learn about Jesus. Time to go check in with Jason. Hey guys, I'm Jason, and I'm here to draw today's true story found in the New Testament. Now remember that today's story is part of a much bigger story. If this is the beginning of time, and this is right now, and this is when Jesus was on earth, today's story happens right about here in the first four books of the New Testament, called the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The really neat thing about these books is that they tell the same story, but they might have some different details. For our story today, we're looking into the book of Luke. Okay, let's get started. One day, Jesus was standing beside the Sea of Galilee. The people crowded around him and listened to the Word of God. Jesus saw two boats at the edge of the water. They'd been left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. Jesus got into the boat that belonged to a man named Simon, also called Peter. Jesus asked him to go out away from the shore. Then he sat down in the boat and taught the people. When he finished speaking, he turned to Simon. He said, go out into deep water. Let the nets down so you can catch some fish. Simon answered, Master, we worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught a large number of fish. There were so many that their nets began to break. They called to another boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. Simon and everybody with them were amazed at the number of fish they had caught. 
So were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who worked with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll catch people. So they pulled up their boats on shore. Then they left everything and followed Jesus. Today's big idea, Jesus can do anything. It's time for some trivia. Hey guys, wasn't that an awesome true story? Well, I hope you remember everything because it's time for a coloring quiz. I'll ask you a question and you shout out what you think is the right answer. Then watch as the right answer will be colored on the screen. Ready? How long had the fishermen been fishing? A, all night, or B, a few hours? A, they had been fishing all night long. Next question. After doing what Jesus told them, the fishermen caught so many fish that A, they filled up a boat, or B, their nets began to break and both boats began to sink. B, they caught so many fish that their nets began to break and both boats began to sink. One more. Jesus told the fishermen that from now on they would fish for A, people, or B, more fish. A, Jesus said they would fish for people from now on. Great job! And now for the memory verse. It's time to paint the memory verse. First, listen to the memory verse. Ephesians 3.20 God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in us. Now, let's say that again together this time. Ephesians 3.20 God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in us. Great work! Keep working on that part because next week we are going to add motions to the memory verse. It's time for a dance party. Stand up and follow the directions. It is time to dance. Move. Jump. Dance. Freeze. Nice job. Now, have a seat. Uh-oh. It's time for some East U Kids questions. Hey guys, I'm here with Miss Amy, and we are going to answer some East U Kid questions. Miss Amy, are you ready? I am ready. Here's today's question. I know I'm supposed to obey all the time, but it is really hard. Will Jesus still love me even if I mess up sometimes? Absolutely. Jesus loves you when you are doing the right thing and even when you make the wrong choice. But Jesus always knows what is best. So ask for forgiveness and for strength to do the right thing. And remember, Jesus loves you no matter what. Remember today's big idea. Jesus can do anything. See you next week. Has anyone seen my paint? <laughs> Imagine you had been trying to do something all day long and it was not working. Imagine you were fishing all day in the sun and you caught nothing and then Jesus comes to you and says, go put your nets in the water. And suddenly you have more fish than you know what to do with. Jesus really can do anything. And that's today's big idea. Before we go today, I want to leave you with a few questions to talk about with your family. Press pause and take a minute to chat. We'll see you next time. Bye.